today with the mandate of digitalization, it becomes all the more important that the thousands of cable operators who depend on their livelihood on these cable systems be provided a platform through which they can compete and at the same time provide and satisfy the norms of digitalization. Tony, who as you all know is a veteran in, this, in the field of pay television, approached Castle Media and myself to design and deliver a world-class broadcast centre and a world-class hits facility. And as Castle Media, we've actually put in our entire top-of-the-line and top-end team to be able to design and deliver a facility and a broadcast uh, model, including the dynamics and the technology, that's really world-class, that competes with anyone else in, in the rest of the world. In terms of back-end technology, we're way up there with the rest. So I think as Castle Media, in terms of what we brought to the table is we brought to the table innovation, we brought to the table new technology, and of course, more than anything else, we brought to the table our expertise and experience in being able to deliver truly sophisticated, world-class, cost-effective solutions. Once we decided to corporatize the cable industry in India, we started looking around globally to see which are the best technologies, best practices. And the idea of having all these multiple head ends uh, strewn across the geographies we were planning to operate. The idea came from Remy Enduja that what if we decided to take all these head ends up into the sky onto a satellite and use that as a master head end. Digitization means that there is a significant amount of investment because digitization involves investment in head ends, investment in a subscriber management system, billing system and all these investments will cost the cable operator quite a huge sum. deliver for the project was to put in a design you know that delivered an incredibly high uh, uptime of service of about 99.99% when it comes to the installation of the equipment over there most of it is going to be pretty much ready to go all of it has been pre-prepared uh, overseas itself so when it uh, lands in India it's going to be pretty much plug-and-play where in which you know equipment will just have to be racked all the wires are going to be cut to length they just need to be cable. So, in terms of the on-time, uh, on-site uh, presence of the SIs will be significantly reduced. What we are trying to do therefore in HITS is set up all these processes, all the systems on behalf of a cable operator and convert a pure capex model into a model where he pays he, for, for those services based on what he earns. Tony was a convert, so he became the uh, apostle of hits and we decided to apply for a, a HITS license back in 2012. Our belief in HITS was that we always realized that the cable operator who had built this cable industry in India needed to be supported and sustained and he should be made a partner in the, in, in the business. And the only technology that could enable us to do it provide a, a service to the cable industry was through the HITS model and I'm very glad that uh, we finally managed to do it. 
all credit to the efforts of Tony and his team. That's what it's at all about. We provide a platform with thousands of operators to continue to grow, survive, and enjoy the benefits of digitalization.